Tickets, get your tickets. Got them right here, front and center, big tickets. Big, big tickets, everybody wants tickets. Enough about tickets. But we do got stuff up today, and they'll get you tickets. To what, I don't know, but we got a great workout for you at home. So, let's get into it. Today's workout is tempo goblet squats. Every five, or every two minutes, excuse me, for five rounds. So, every two minutes, you will do a set of squats. That set of squats will be five goblet or front squats, and you will do it at a tempo of three seconds down, one second pause, three seconds down, one second pause at the top. So big keys on these squats. The goal is to build and wait to challenge the technique, but to also practice and maintain consistent mechanics on the load, intensity, and so forth. So you should feel that time under tension in the, in the tempos. You should also feel the strength being built through the squat. You should also get comfortable practicing and breathing the motion of your squat. This is super important because not only will it make you a better squatter, it'll make your knees healthier, your hips happier, your ankles feel better, and overall make you a better person in life because you can handle things when they're thrown at you and you have to control them. All right? So what we're looking for there, finding a weight or an object here, setting it right in front of our body. You can go on the shoulder if you want, but most likely gobbling right in front. Then you're going to go down for one 1,000, two 1,000. Pause in the bottom. One 1,000, up, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, pause at the top. You do that five times. Again, that tempo is one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, pausing at the bottom there, one 1,000, and then up, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Good. Done. Squat. You'll do that five times every two minutes for five rounds. Lots of fun on the squats. Then we get into the real stub hub fun. It is a ladder that goes up and down. Really goes down and up, but you get it, all right? Step up, 21, 15, nine, tuck ups, and alternating dumbbell power snatches. The moment you finish that ninth alternating dumbbell snatch, you go directly into nine, 15, 21, single arm swings, and goblet squats. So you go up on that one. What we're looking for here is you to be able to move through this workout and be challenged or tempted to do most of these things unbroken. So the alternating dumbbell snatches should be heavy enough to where 21 is doable unbroken, but you may break it up because you know you have a longer workout coming. The tuck-ups. You might be someone who struggles with tuck-ups, so maybe you're having to do sit-ups here, but most likely you're trying to keep moving through those at a pace solid there. On the way back, the single arm swings. This should be actually where you can go to a little aggressive because the weight should be lighter um, for the goblet squat and for the snatches, and the swing should be able to help you here. But since they are on one arm, you will split them up as however you please. But remember, you just want to rest a moment, switching hands on that. You shouldn't have to put it down, you shouldn't have to rest to put it down there. On the squats, you're already going to have warmed up legs, but you should be able to rock and roll through these and really push those last sets there. Now, we're looking for something between 10 and 15 minutes here. So, it won't be quite a sprint, but you shouldn't be at a slow jog. Kind of pushing a little faster than a mile pace type thing. It is possible to go under 10 minutes, but you really gotta be moving. You really gotta be working hard. All right, let's go through the four movements that we have. So first, we're gonna start with the tuck up. Tuck up is on the ground. We're gonna find our hollow position. So nice tight hollow here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands behind our head. We're gonna tuck our knees to our chest and then back. Always sitting in the hollow when we extend. We don't want to see that low back round off the ground. We stay nice, tight, and strong in that hollow position. Then we'll move into those alternating dumbbell snatches. We're taking these from the ground. We're going to switch hands every time. We're going to keep that dumbbell nice and close to our body. Going up. And then switch hands on the way down, tapping and going back up. Again, trying to stay mostly unbroken here as we go. Right from there, we're going to go into a single arm swing. Utilizing that hinge pattern, squeezing and standing up, and a nice swing style. You can switch hands, you can do a gentle toss between as you want. And to finish, a nice goblet squat. All right? Big goals there is to try and not put the dumbbell down as much as possible and just stay breathing and moving through this one. Have fun, take care, and I'm gonna go pick up my mess from going to tickets. Bye!